Well, we are joined live this morning and we are pleased to be joined live by MTN Sports Grace Lawrence, who is in Dayton, Ohio, gearing up for the Bobcats to dance with Grambling State this evening. Grace, we can't thank you enough for joining us this morning on Montana This Morning. Now we're in day two of the first four of March Madness. So how's the atmosphere like in Dayton? Hi, Jane. I mean, I'm so pleased to be joining you guys. I've been having so much fun so far. UG Arena's behind me. We still got a lot of hours for the Bobcats um, take the court tonight. But like you said, how's the atmosphere? It's been amazing. Two games already. One that came down to the wire. The fans have been coming out. They've been representing their school. I've been seeing different colors all around the town of Dayton. We're ready for March Madness, and the Cats and the Cats fans from Bozeman are ready as well that have traveled to Dayton. I love it, Grace. Now, what is going to be the key for the Bobcats to pull the win tonight? Definitely. I mean, I think if you followed the Big Sky Tournament, you know that the star of this team is Robert Ford III. He's the guard that leads the team in points. He leads the team in steals. He leads the team in rebounds, and he's normally the smallest guy on the court. You can't teach heart, so he's going to be key. And then bench points. I mean, that's what that's what really helped them in the Big Sky Tournament compared to other teams. They had John Olmstead, the big man transfer from ASU and Sam Lekalot, coming off the bench, scoring, you know, in the high teens, getting lots of rebounds. Sam Lekalot had a double-double in the semifinal, which was key. And getting them to the championship and John Holmes said 16 points in that championship game taking down the Grizz was key to get the team to March Madness. They're going to have to step up big tonight. It will absolutely be a fantastic game tonight. Again, that's going to be at 440 tonight. Now, this is the third straight appearance that the Cats have made in the tournament. Now, what makes this year in Dayton, Ohio against Grambling State a unique one? Yeah, well, like you said, this is a three-peat for the Cats in their return to the NCAA tournament. But what makes this one unique is that they're playing a first four in-game. They've been the 14 seed the past two years, taking on the three seed. So they're a major underdog if they get past this game and play in Indianapolis against Purdue. But they got to get past Grambling State first in this first four in-game in Dayton. A very unique sequence. But, you know, they could end that Big Sky losing streak and get the win tonight, which would be a major payday for the conference and for the team. And let's look ahead now. If the Cats pull out the win tonight, what is next for this team? Yeah, what is next is they get on a bus and they'll drive about two hours to Indianapolis, hour, two hours, um, and they'll be taking on the one seed, Purdue, a top-seeded team with a star in Zach Eady. I'm ready for that Olmstead Eady big man showdown. And what's really interesting in that region is also Danny Sprinkle's Utah State team. So they pull the win out tonight, they pull the upset out tomorrow. They'll be taking on Utah State, which would be pretty crazy if they get their win against TCU. Yeah, absolutely agree, Grace. Now, wrapping it up, because I don't want to take too much of your time this morning, you have a lot to cover. Cover, but anything else that we should know about the first four for this year? Yeah, they're taking on Grambling State, the winners of the SWAC, and, you know, they are a very fast, very athletic team. Uh, the coach, though, told us yesterday in the press conference of the SWAC that Montana State, of course, that they would give Grambling State the hottest team in the country, so that should give some Bobcat fans some confidence. Grambling State thinks they're taking on the hottest team in the country, and I think I might have to agree with the way that Big Sky Tournament went down last week in Boise, one of the best events I've ever been a part of, and I cannot wait for tonight. 440 your time on True TV. They'll be taking on Grambling State in the first First four, let's let's do March. Let's do it, Grace. I think you speak for all of us. We are so excited to have all that coverage and all that action over on True TV. Again, that is Grace Lawrence live on Montana this morning from Dayton, Ohio. Grace, thank you so much again for being with us this morning. Again, Bobcats facing off against Grambling tonight at 4:40 Mountain Time.